Hello everyone. Welcome to the Computer Networks Practical Series. In this particular session, we study the HTTP protocol, that is the Hypertext Transfer Protocol, which is used to send the web pages uh, through the web. And we will be using this particular topology, so same topology like uh, which we have used in uh, DNS, etc. So this is the server. 10.0.0.2 and we have the router 10.0.0.1 and the three PCs having this particular IP addresses and this is the configuration okay. this is the same which was used in the DNS practical so uh, in HTTP we will do almost all the steps which are similar to the DNS practical except there is one more step which is not there in the DNS so we have to set up the HTTP server as well as the DNS server so let us do this on the Cisco Packet Tracer. So this is a Cisco Packet Tracer software. So let's uh, select the components. First, I select the router. Okay, I click uh, in this. Uh, this is the router. We will select the 1941 router. I'll place it here. Okay. Then uh, let us select the uh, PCs. So three PCs. One, two, and then three. Then we need a router, so this is sorry, server. So this is the server. You select the server, put it here, okay. And then we need a switch, so switch is here. Uh, this is the first one we select. Okay. Now we do the connection and the configuration, okay. So connect the components. So for PC, we have to select fast Ethernet, and for switch, we can select any of the interface. And here, in case of router, out of the four, we select this gigabit zero zero, and any of this. And here, this is fast Ethernet with any of this. Now we configure the IP addresses of the various interfaces. So first, I go to the router zero. Okay, in router zero, we click on config. Sorry, uh, yes, config and the uh, gigabit zero zero because we use this gigabit zero zero. We turn it on. Okay, and give the IP address at 10.0.0.1 okay that is done for the router okay then we come to the server okay. for server we put the IP address that is uh, 10.0.0.2 okay and the default mask for every device is 0 10.0.0.1 and we have to put this DNS server also so DNS server is our actual server the one which we are configuring so this is the DNS so we have to put this DNS server address in each and every interface okay. now we come to PC 0 okay. desktop and the IP address so this is 10.0.0.3 okay. and the default gateway is 10.0.0.1 for everyone and DNS server we have to put this DNS server IP address 10.0.0.2 okay so this this configuration is done for PC0 same will do for PC1 and PC2 only the IP address will change so this IP configuration this is 10.0.0.4 okay then this is 10.0.0.1 and this is 10.0.0.2 Then the last one here, this is 10.0.0.5, sorry, and then this is subnet mask, and then gateway is 10.0.0.1, and DNS server, we have to put this address in every host, because if this is, if you don't give this address, then DNS won't work, okay, so this is done, okay. Now, uh, after configuring the IP address, we need to make this server, enable this server for providing the DNS service. So, I click on here, okay, and then I click on services, and you can see there's a DNS written here. I just click here DNS. This service is by default, it is off. I'll put it on, okay, and I can just name any of the I, uh, any of the website name, just I will just name as iSmile. I'll host this website on this, so iSmile.com okay and i'll put the ip address of the same server 
I want this to be on this particular server. After putting these two things, I'll just add it. Okay, so this is mentioned now. This is recorded here. Okay, after this part, we have to set up the HTTP. And in one of my videos, uh, this DNS uh, was demonstrated. All the steps still now are same in HTTP also. There is just one uh, one increase. That there is a one, one more step is required in for uh, setting up for starting the HTTP protocol. I'll just click on this HTTP, and by default this is on. Okay, we don't we don't need to turn it on. Okay, uh, and these are the web pages which are available. So we'll see how we can access the web pages because this HTTP protocol is actually used for accessing the various uh, utilities. Okay, accessing various uh, information through the web. So I'll just close this. Click on any of the PC. I'll just click on PC zero. Click on the web browser, okay, and access the website iSmile.com. Sorry, it's i iSmile. Am I? I just made a mistake in typing the name. So here we get the. So if I click on any of the links, I just click on this a small page. I get this hello world message. If I click on this copyrights, I get the information about the copyrights. If I click on this image page, we get this image. So this is how the HTTP protocol works. Okay, so that's all for this particular session. Thanks for watching.